let us understand how asynchronous actions will be working in redux till now we have seen synchronous action as soon as we dispatch the action state will be updated and once the state is updated we are going to re-render our component and here inside this we have dispatched order pizza and in this case number of pizza will be reduced by 1 so till now we have seen when we dispatch this order pizza number of pizza base will be reduced by 1 and same for burger if i dispatch order burger number of burger buns will be reduced by 1 but eventually as our application grows we need to use asynchronous code using which we can fetch the data from api and display in our application so in this course we are going to use this fake store api from where we are going to fetch the products data before writing entire logic first we should understand entire flow of this application we should understand what is the structure of reducer what is the structure of state and what is the structure of action let us start with a state and we already know state is an object inside which we are going to pass properties and values and whenever we are fetching some data from api inside this state we usually have three properties so first is loading flag initially inside this initial state we are going to set the value as false and once we start fetching the data we are going to change the value to true and if you are having loading spinner in your component then you can easily display that spinner to user then second property we are going to give products and initial value we will set as empty array why because initially we will not have any data because our data is fetched in the background so that is the reason initial value of this products will be empty array and inside this we are going to store all the products name which we are getting from api then finally we are having error property initially we are not going to have any error first we will start fetching the data and while fetching the data if we are having any error only then we have to display the error so initially we are not going to have any error so simply we will assign the value as false and using this if we are having some error we can easily display error message to user this is how state will be represented in our application then we are having action and inside this we can define three action first action type can be fetch request to fetch products from api endpoint then second and third action type depends on this first action if the data is fetched successfully we are going to use this fetch success if we are having any error then we are going to use this fetch error and accordingly display error message to user so these are the three action types which we are going to define inside our actions then finally we are having reducer so for each and every action type we should be performing different action and in return we should be returning our next updated state so first action was fetch request inside this our loading will be set to true why because initially we are going to fetch the data we have not received any data so once we start our fetch request we are going to set our loading to true if you are having any loading spinner or if you want to display any message to user like data is getting loaded you can simply display that message to user as an indication that data is being fetched from the api then we are having fetch success if the data was fetched successfully then for this products property we are going to assign the value as data and this data is nothing but data which we have got from api and once the data is received successfully we are going to set our loading to false once we have any error while fetching the data 
we are going to set our loading to false we do not want to show any spinner instead we want to set error to true at this point if the error is true we want to display error message to user so in this way we are going to write the logic and update the next step so once we are requesting we are going to set loading to true if the data is fetched loading will be false and whatever data we got from api that data will be assigned to our products property and if we are having any error again loading to false and error will be set to true and that error message we are going to display to the user